Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, K. What do you see? Here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be telling y'all guys everything we know about the latest teasers that we just recently got for zombies and just some really cool Easter egg type things that we've been getting. But one thing real quick before we get started with today's video is if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon because then you don't have to worry about missing out on any of the latest Call of Duty news or any posts from this channel. And if you want to get lucky in this message Call of Duty, just, you know, turn up all the way to 11. Be sure to drop a like down below on today's video to let me know. But with that being said, in yesterday's video, I talked about a possible Warzone event coming into the game where at some point we see zombies or at least elements from the zombie universe start to appear in the game, you know, more than likely around Halloween time as a sort of Halloween event. Now, the reason that we more or less have this idea confirmed is the fact that Nikolai has been found on some of the in-game promotion banners and he was actually in the war zone. And we know that it's premise Nikolai because he still has the blood vials from Blood of the Dead. Now at this point, we don't know if he's gonna be an alternate skin for the Nikolai that we have in the Modern Warfare universe, if he's gonna be a limited time skin that you can get from the event, or if he's just gonna be like a skin you can straight up buy in the store. However, we do know that Nikolai is coming into the game and he's gonna be part of either some trailer or you know, just part of the promotion bundle like similar to what we got with Woods. And just going off on a little tangent here, we got some more information about the campaign as well, because there's gonna be a main campaign storyline as we already know, but there's also gonna be side missions related to each main mission. And the side mission is gonna have puzzles. Once you solve those puzzles, you'll be able to go back to the main missions and play more areas of the map that were previously locked. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that, yes, you could probably not do any of the side missions if you didn't want to, but if you want to have some, you know, replayability to the campaign and just have some more fun just messing around, then I'm pretty sure the side missions are going to be a great thing to do. But getting back to zombies, we have what could be our actual very first looks of zombies that are going to be in the game. Because like I mentioned before, there's also going to be, in addition to the expected their Mansion Ice Nocturne and Toten remake, there's also going to be a Firebase Z map set in Vietnam. And I can't think of his name. I'll be sure to put it in the video before I'm done editing. But... A former Black Ops uh, developer showcased the concept designs that he had for Vietnam zombies. And you know, at first glance, you know, one would just want to wave this off. But looking deeper, there's a lot of connections to what we already do know and was actually present even in the trailer. The very first of which is this martial arts concept zombie. Now basically, martial artist gets infected. He's already trained. He's already, you know, really strong and all that stuff because he's a martial artist. And because of that, he's much more lethal up close and you don't want to, you know, get in hand-to-hand -hand combat with him because he's going to kick you like Bruce Lee is on. If you look at this one still frame in the trailer, I know it might seem like kind of a reach, but doesn't it look kind of similar the way this zombie on the left and the concept zombie on the right, both are shirtless, have similar pants, looks like he's about to completely just wham on the dude that's up close to him. Like I said, not a point for point, you know, 100% remake of this concept, but a concept is a concept because you take the main idea and you go off of it. In addition to this, we're gonna be looking at a new type of gas zombie. I think it was called like a shrieker zombie or something like that. But you know, similar to the way that the Nova 6 gas zombies from Kino work, or even the uh, little monkey zombies from, I think, Ascension work. And in addition to these special type zombies that, you know, we kind of have in every map, we also got images of what could potentially be the generic zombies that we find, you know, on round one and beyond. Another zombie that's also really interesting is this meteorite type zombie. Um, not really 100% sure how he's going to function, but the main reason, yet again, I believe at least a, you know, version of him is going to be in the game is from the Pawn Takes Pawn thing, we learned that at some point throughout this Cold War universe, even though it's set in the dark ether, that they came into contact with a foreign meteorite, just like they did in Black Ops Kennedy Toten, and found out that said, hey, we don't know what element this is. And I would assume that say the first people to touch that meteorite or maybe die near that meteorite or just, you know, come into contact, ended up becoming infected zombies in these big old gluttonous bad boys that we got right here. And I'm not gonna go too much into depth about it right now. I'm just gonna basically skim over it. You should definitely check out the video I uploaded yesterday. I go much more into depth about it, but basically we're going to be getting some of the old perks back that 
basically everybody wanted and nobody asked to be taken out like juggernaut speed cola stamina up stuff like that there's going to be specialist weapons returning and there's also going to be at least two maps available at launch with there being two different modes of their matching nice and firebase z not sure if firebase z is going to be like day one launch but it's going to be like right there at it if not day one possibly like as a mid-season type deal and today's video is actually like much more depth the first time i recorded it sad to say the recording got corrupted somehow because my computer keeps saying it has no space when it has like 10 times the amount of space it needs i don't know why it keeps doing this and like as soon as i restart it'll be like oh yeah i've got you know enough space now i don't i don't know what's wrong with my computer but like I said, hopefully this still helped you guys and helped to shed some light on the matter. I'm still really excited for Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. Hopefully at least some of the zombies mentioned in today's video do appear in the game or else I'm just gonna look like a complete idiot. And I do apologize if they don't. Like I said, you know, just with any type of discussion, theory, video, you gotta take everything with a grain of salt. And while it may come to fruition, you gotta understand that until we see it in front of our faces, we don't really know if it's going to be implemented or not. But thank you guys so much for sticking with me and watching today's video. If you are new to the channel or anything like that, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon because then you don't have to worry about missing out on some of the latest Call of Duty news or posting this channel. And if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful in any way, please consider leaving a like because that really helps me out and lets me know what kind of videos that y'all guys like to watch. Also, feel free to comment down below with any video ideas that you have or just, you know, general suggestions for the channel that you think will help improve it. But thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, it's your boy KB, signing off. Peace.